part two, you just saw part one where I went over aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, and those are definitely important to learn about your camera. You need a look, that's, that's like all you really need to know. <laughs> but the next thing you do need to know also is white balance. Now, white balance is basically color correction right inside of your camera. When I'm looking at the white balance list on my LCD screen, it's basically organized from the warmest color temperature all the way down to the coolest. And then of course there's the custom white balance after that and all that stuff. So the first item, in other words, the warmest color temperature that you're going to see is incandescent. Incandescent is to be used uh, when you are inside of a house, like a really old house, and you, yeah, the light bulbs are incandescent light bulbs, and then they're like the old-fashioned tungsten light bulbs that give out yellow light. What your camera will do when you set your camera to that white balance is it will take that yellow light and cool the color temperature down so what you're looking at won't look yellow. It'll look white because what your camera's doing is it's adding more blue or maybe rather taking away more reds, whichever, um, it basically evens out the color temperature so when you take a picture of something white and the red light is on it, the paper isn't going to be white. It's, it's not going to be red. It's going to be white because your camera is taking that color information and changing it to neutralize it. Okay? So, the next item is fluorescent. Now fluorescent, um, there's all different types of fluorescent lights. I'm not going to go too much into deal, detail about that, but basically they're the yellow lights. Not the yellow lights, but like the white lights that you see in office buildings or something. Then there is direct sunlight. All that means is sunny light with no clouds. So if the sun's out and there's no clouds, you're going to want direct sunlight. Next down the list, we have flash. Flash. Um, <laughs> flash is, it's pretty, it, it's a little bit more blue than compared to direct sunlight. <sighs> Just a little bit, it's not that big of a difference, but it's still there. So if you're using the flash on your camera especially, just just put it to flash white balance. The next thing, and that's what I'm in right now, is I'm in cloudy light. Cloudy light is pretty, pretty blue and pretty cold lighting. So what your camera will do, again, to just reiterate this, is it will take all the blue colors and it'll take the, the blue out of it and just replace it with white. So what you're looking at looks natural. Okay? So, and shade. Shade is the coolest one down on the list. All shade is, is it's, it's just, it's really blue. Really, really blue. And so your camera is just going to make the picture really, really red, and in turn it's going to even it out, and so it turns white. That's basically what white balance is. When you're doing custom white balances, you can get a gray card. This type of gray is actually a certain type of gray, and it's 18% gray. It's basically a special type of gray that's calibrated for cameras. So when you take a custom white balance picture of this gray strip right here, and you set that picture as the white balance picture, um, it, it'll look, everything will look like perfect, dead on perfect. But this card actually isn't very high quality, it's kind of cheap. So, I'll link a better high quality one down in the description of this video and you can check that out if you want to. So we are working in two different types of light white balances at the same time here. We have incandescent light which is inside of my room and we have cloudy light which is outside of my room. This is outside the window here. Now my camera is set to incandescent right now for the white balance. So as you can see here Everything looks good. It all looks normal. But outside, it looks way too blue. That's because when we're on incandescent lighting, it's going to bring the blues way up, and it's going to push the reds down. Because this light is actually a little bit more warm in color. So it's going to take the red tones, 
push them down, take the blue tones, bring them up. So that's why it's cloudy right now and it's naturally blue outside. So my camera is pushing the blues way up even more than it, what it should be. But check this out. If I go and I go down to cloudy for the white balance, everything outside looks normal and the color looks correct minus the reflection right here but everything looks good however when I pull back and go back inside my room check this out everything is totally red and it looks horrible I mean you could use this for artistic purposes but I mean still for a regular picture this is horrible so let's go back down the spectrum and you'll see that this is the incandescent setting right here this is incandescent and then this right here is cloudy. See the, the difference there? That's the opposite of the spectrum. So this is cloudy and this is incandescent. Huge difference. Massive difference. You've got warmer color temperatures and you've got cooler color temperatures. So, so basically you have warmer color temperatures and then on the other end of the scale you have cooler co co <laughs> okay so basically you have warm color temperatures and then on the other side of the scale you have cool co co ah. so basically you have cool co color <laughs> okay so basically you have cool color temperatures and then when you move across the scale you have warmer color temperatures